I'm Dan Edmonds. This is a Ram 1500 TRX, and that's my ramp. In a minute, I'm going to drive one up the other and see how well its suspension articulates. But before we get started, remember to like, subscribe, share with your friends, all the things. Also, that's my neighbor's leaf blower. All right, I've got it lined up with a ramp, which is no mean feat because this thing is wide and my gate is narrow. So it's all set and I'm ready to go on up. But first, let's look at the clearance up front. It's no surprise that the TRX is designed to take on the Raptor. And so a lot of its dimensions are pretty similar. In fact, the approach angle up here, 30.2 degrees, is identical. This has a little bit better breakover angle in the middle. And as for dimensions that matter on the ramp, well, the TRX's wheelbase is about a half an inch shorter than the Raptor's, and its front and rear track widths are about a half an inch wider. You know, all things being equal, those dimensional differences, however small, do add up to uh, an advantage for the TRX. But of course, the suspensions aren't equal. They're completely different. Getting out is a process. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I just about maxed out the ramp. Um, not sure if I'm far enough up, actually. I kind of hope so because there's not a lot left. Let's check. Perfect. Right there. It's. Uh, just barely touching the ground. So this is the point of maximum articulation. And I gotta say, this rear suspension is really hanging. I'm inside the garage. It's inside the garage door opening. Well, I actually drove right out of the shot I had framed up and Good thing the garage door is open because the nose of the truck is in the garage and the hood isn't very far away from the eaves. So this thing went far up and it's a monster. So yeah, that's why uh, I'm glad I didn't do this with the door down like I sometimes do. Well, I figured out what the squeaking you might have heard is. It's rocks in the skid plate. Yeah, bigger rocks than these holes can allow to pass through. So pro tip, if you own one of these and you've got a weird noise when you hit bumps, you might want to clean the gravel out of your skid plate. Remember how I said this spring is two feet long out of the truck? Well, it's almost two feet long in the truck here at full droop, but there's enough preload here. It isn't, uh, it's compressed still. Uh, so there doesn't need to be any retaining clips to hold it in like the extra long travel suspension I added to my Jeep JK. This being a factory package, they don't want to have to do that. So here fully twisted up on the ramp, we can see how these bushings that are based on the Ram Power Wagons bushings have the necessary articulation to allow this suspension to you know completely uh, well articulate the way it does something's missing back here and it's gone because it helps with articulation 
and that's the rear stabilizer bar that Ram 1500s and 2500s have when they have this link coil rear suspension. It's one of the advantages of that setup, but of course the TRX wants maximum articulation, so it's gone here. Now, that's not to say you should remove it from your truck because, you know, this, this truck can get away with it because it's got six inches of extra track width that helps make it more stable in roll, and also these electronically controlled dampers help to contain the motions a little bit. So they can get away without the bar, and of course, since articulation is king with this thing, they've uh, taken it off. Get a load of the right rear. It's really tucked up in there, sitting on the bump stops, as opposed to the other side, which is pretty much hanging as far as it can. I guess the fact that I can't show it is part of the story. Well, here is the right rear coil spring, the one that's two feet long out of the truck. It's not, not even a foot long now. Uh, and if I move here, you'll be able to see, maybe, the bump stop. And it's kind of in there between the coils is completely compressed against its landing pad on the axle. I was going to talk about how much clearance there is, but the ramp ends before this does. But still, you can see there's plenty. It's 30.2 degrees of approach angle here in the middle, and here it's cut up in front of the tire, so it's, it's more there. And obviously, with a 20 degree ramp that we've got here, we've got no issue. I think I should measure now. I've been putting it off. That looks like the spot. And we'll mark the spot with some blue tape. That's not very far from the end, is it? But how far above the ground? That's the key thing. 29 and 7 eighths. That's the height above the ground, but of course we have to divide by 20 degrees well, the sine of 20 degrees, and we get 87.34 inches of, 3.5 if I round it up, but I'm going to leave the decimals in the calculator, so it won't matter, and then I'm going to divide by the wheelbase, which is 145.1, and I get 600 and Two. It's 601.989, but that's 602 in my book, I think, in anybody's book. Anyway, 602 is what I get here, and wow, that is impressive, and I think that might be very close to the number that Ram is uh, talking about. If you ask them what the RTI is, they might give you a number, and I think it might be very close to that, if not the same. Wouldn't that be a thing? Anyway, that's what I get here on my ramp, and that's pretty impressive. I mean, this is a long wheelbase truck. 145.1 inches is not kidding around in terms of wheelbase, so it takes a lot of climb to get a good score when you've got that much wheelbase, and that's what we've got here. Well, that's about it. There's only one thing left to do, and that's put the Ram 1500 TRX's score on my Flex Index leaderboard, and I've taken the liberty of filling it out in advance, uh, not in advance of measuring it, obviously, and here is where it slots in, if it'll fit, right there with the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. I'm going to butt these two together because they're very close, and that's really impressive. This is a full-size crew cab truck with a 145.1-inch wheelbase. That's a, that's a lot, and yet it's right in there with the Gladiator Rubicon, a mid-size pickup that has a disconnectable front stabilizer bar. So pretty impressive for the TRX. Anyway, that is, uh, that's where I stand. Let me know where you stand in the comments, and remember to like, subscribe, share with your friends. And until next time, this is Dan Edmonds saying thanks for watching.